Hi everybody. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a script called Scripted Glue um, to produce an end product that looks something like this on the screen. Um, it's really useful if you need to be able to say um, put buildings in their context if you're doing a bit of city modeling, um, and you're if you, also very important if you need to show the buildings. Um, relative to how they sit in the bigger landscape. Um, it's actually really easy to do, so without further ado, um, we can go to the standard primitives on the right hand side here and create a new plane. So just click and hold, and you create a plane. I might just make this uh, make the length and width here just a bit more nice and neat at 300 by 300, just to make it nice and neat. I'll keep my length and width segments exactly the same. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, go to the modifier list and add a noise modifier. Now noise modifier, what's it, what it's going to be able to do is to be able to warp the terrain or warp the plane so that it looks a bit more like a like a like a like a piece of contour. Now the area we want to focus our attention on is strength, particularly the strength in the z uh, the z direction because this will make it warp in the vertical um, direction. So as an example, if I increase the Z value, you can see that the terrain begins to warp and becomes disfigured, almost like a cloth, um, which begins to look a bit more like a realistic piece of contour. So I might just make the Z value at 50. So that way it looks like a piece of um, warped plane or looks like a, an actual contour. Um, I'm going to just, once that's done, I'm just going to move this plane down on the Z axis just to get out of the way for a minute by pressing W and holding um, and, and moving it down in, in the Z direction in the blue arrow. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my buildings. So if I just go to the, um, the create um, option here and create a box. I'm just going to create a box um, um, just very simply. I might just keep, I might just make it a bit nicer in terms of its parameters. I might make it 30 meters in length by 30 meters in width and 20 meters in height. Um, and, and you can see that's my building there. Obviously, I'd like to have a few more buildings so that I, so it looks a bit more like a city. Um, so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to change to the top view. And you can see here that we've only got one um, one building or one box in the bigger bigger plane. Um, I'm going to make a series of copies of those boxes just so that I don't have to keep drawing boxes over and over and over. So I'm just going to press W, and that will activate the move option. I'm going to press and hold Shift, and click on the red arrow here. Click and hold and drag it out. This will create a copy. Oh, this will create a clone that will allow me to create a copy and in this instance I'm probably going to create maybe 15 and you can see it's just created a, a big array of, of, um, of boxes I'd like to make a few more just so that it there's enough to cover the entire plane so I'm just going to go to the my um, uh, my panel over here I'm going to select all of the ones named boxes we can see how all of these are now highlighted and again, I'm going to press W so that the move button activates. And this time, I'm going to um, again press and hold Shift, but move it in the Y direction. Click and hold and move it in the Y direction downwards, so you can see how there's a set that's just created here while still holding down Shift. I'm just going to let go of the mouse, and it's going to create. It's going to open with this clone option. Again, I just want to make a copy, and I probably want to make a copy of about just ten. Again, you can see now it's created an, a series of arrays of boxes. Um, you can see that right now the plane doesn't entirely line up with the boxes underneath. That's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this terrain, click the, the, the folded terrain, and I'm just going to press W and just move the terrain so it slightly sits underneath the boxes. Now you can see how a number of boxes don't really overlap with the terrain, which is fine. I'm just going to select these boxes and just get rid of them. So going back to my perspective view now just to get a better look at this, at this, 
you can see that now I've got a series of boxes that are just floating above this terrain. I want to make sure that these boxes actually um, move in, in the Z direction only um, so that they stick to the terrain so that it's a, a, an accurate representation of the buildings that sit above the contour. But I don't want to have to manually move each one of these boxes down. So this is where the, um, the scripted glue um, script becomes really useful. So if I just go to scripting, run script, and I've got scripted glue already loaded into my computer. You can download this anywhere on the web, um, but um, but you can also um, download it in the YouTube link that I put in below in the uh, in the comment section. So scripted glue, click open, and that'll open up the scripted glue um, um, toolbar. Just going to move that to a side. First, I need to select a base object. That's the surface in which these buildings will get glued to. So obviously I want my buildings to glue to this plane, which means that my base object needs to be this plane here. So I'll click my base object, so pick base object, and then I'll click my surface plane. And then you can see how this box now becomes to plane 001, which is the uh, surface in which these buildings will get glued to. Um, then I'm just gonna rotate this slightly. And then I'm going to select all of my buildings or my boxes. See how they, and then I'm just going to click glue. To the plane 001. And that's pretty much it. So you can 